April 11th, 12th, and 13th, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I love this day. The sun in Aries with Jupiter exact degrees standing next to it. So I want you to imagine 100 times the size of Earth. Jupiter's the planet of joy sitting on the sun. And unfortunately, the moon is in Capricorn squaring it. Oh, well, that just means there is a lot of get up and go. Happy birthday, Karen Dunn, my oldest friend that I grew up with. I have these old friends because they're so loyal. Jupiter on the sun this year for her, when you look at the chart on your birth date and you see that on that date, Jupiter and the sun were together, that's a signature. It's called the solar return chart and it describes the upcoming year. With Jupiter on the sun, you couldn't have a better year, Karen Dunn. It's like the luckiest chart ever. And there are this amazing energy about the sun being in Aries, moon being in Capricorn, and Mars opposite in Cancer. That's a T-square. That's a perfect T-square. The moon opposite Mars and the sun looks like a T upside down. See the opposition? And then here's the sun. That moon in Capricorn opposite Mars with the sun in Aries all releases in Libra. And that is the sign of getting along with people. So if you were uh, if you were born, which Karen wasn't, with sun in Aries and moon in Capricorn, you would have a personality type, and we're going to feel this energy today for the next few days, that would be very strong, very male, very directed, very opinionated. Maybe this is Karen. Very opinionated, very strong, very directed, loves to get results, and it pushes you. But there's this opposition with cancer energy in the sky all releasing in Libra saying, can you just be nice when you're being that direct? This is the art of this lifetime. How do we be our personalities, then learn how we affect others? Because if you're an Aries Capricorn, you're like a strong character and be conscious of how to dance with the other. And that's the release of Libra. So Mercury is going to be going retrograde in one week. So prepare to get things done now. If you've got to sign contracts, if you've got to finish a writing project, if you're thinking about finishing with your company, because in a week when Mercury goes retrograde, that's when we're going to retreat and go slower. So it's good to know that, said the astrologer, giving you a heads up. And boy, Jupiter exact degree on the sun in Aries. I have a friend, another friend who has that exact aspect. He is the most energetic. There's a lot of energy in the sky. Energetic, optimistic, always up for a party, very, very energy in the name of fun. And I want to encourage you, if Jupiter's on the sun exact degree for one day of the year and it's in Aries, please give yourself permission to turn up your energy. And just so you know, it's the last day of Passover. We finished that holiday, the retrograde starting in a week. This is cause for us to celebrate. Any reason at all when Jupiter's around is a reason to celebrate. So turn up your energy, pay attention to other people, but don't diminish yourself because they're all boring and not having fun. You have fun. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about the four elements, which is my favorite topic to talk about, what is your missing element is a question we'll ask, and then discover how to create more balance in your life, just click the link in the description to get instant access to my free elemental video series. You will find out there's so much wisdom there.